So basically, our topic is COVID-19 detection from chest X-ray images using Python and deep learning. I, Ritika Parekh, along with my other group members, Pradipta Chatterjee, Samudra Ganguly, and Tushar Raj, under the supervision of uh, Somnath Roy Chaudhary, will be presenting on this topic. So basically, our project is divided into four parts. Parts. First is the project outline. The second one is implementation. The third is our future goals and the next steps we will be taking. And the fourth one is conclusion. So this is the basic introduction of COVID-19. As we all know, we have been We have been going through this pandemic since last two years, approximately two years. So uh, COVID-19 is contagious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2. The first known case was identified in China. So these are a few of the things about COVID-19. So basically in our project, we will be det uh, detecting COVID-19 using the chest X-ray images using Python and deep learning. So now the question arises that why are we using X-ray images for this detection purpose? So first of all, COVID-19 tests are very difficult and like hard to come and also uh, very costly. So the COVID-19 kits are not easily available and they cannot be manufactured fast enough, which is causing pan panic. Given that there are limited COVID-19 testing kits, we need to rely on some other diagnosis measures. So uh, given, uh, we already know that all the hospitals have X-ray imaging machines. So we thought of an idea that if we could detect COVID-19 using the X-ray images, then it would be cost efficient and also very easy. So a, draw, a drawback is that the X-ray analysis requires a radiology expert and takes significant time. So which is precious when people are sick around the world. Therefore, developing an automated analysis system is required to save medical professionals valuable time. This this drawback is not uh, of our model. This drawback is that uh, that uh, any expert can only detect between a pneumonic patient and a normal patient. But our model can uh, about it's ninety seven percent accurate at this time. So this is not without our without the experts. Common people, common masses can also use our uh, application and detect using the chest X ray that if they are having COVID nineteen or not. So uh, we'll be using your deep learning, which is a subset of machine learning, which in turn is a, sub is a subset of artificial intelligence. So here we'll be, uh, we'll be using neural network. So neural network is a system modeled on human brain consisting of an input layer, multiple hidden layers, and an output layer. So here we give input uh, as uh, pixels. And uh, there are hidden layers in between. And uh, uh, each of these uh, uh, nodes have a particular values, pixel values that is denoted by x1, x2, x3, and so on. And there are particular weights, w1, w2, w3, w4, which keeps on adjusting until we find, and a bias is obviously there with each layer. And these keeps on adjusting itself until we find an accurate solution. If there is an error, this is fed back to the uh, uh, previous layers and again weights and biases adjust until we find the accurate solution. So types of neural networks, there are mainly five types of neural networks. Artificial neural network, which is used for pattern recognition. CNN, which we are here using for our uh, model. Uh, because it is best suited for image processing. RNN, 
that is recursive neural network which is used for speech recognition dnn that is deep neural network that is used for acoustic modeling and dbn that is deep brief network which is mainly used for cancer detection and so the idea behind cnn is it is designed uh, from actual human brain cortex it is, it is based on that design human brain cortex is designed such a way that it can uh, differentiate between images differentiate between other objects the cnn also is defined in that particular way so basically our project outline so here we are using deep learning specifically cnn algorithm for classification of x ray images these x ray images we have collected from various sources like kaggle github and global covid chest x ray data set first of all the data pre processing was done in the jupyter notebook and then the data was uploaded to google collab for actually implementing the model talking about the implementation portion so uh, we have total of uh, 224 images in the uh, first of all we have a covid uh, pradipt if you can present the screen for the code actually I, I cannot present my network connection is slow but let me tell you sir uh, the data the entire data was downloaded from google uh, from kaggle and from github and then I pre process the data uh, using Jupyter Notebook. And you can differentiate, you can see these images also. The left side image, this is of a COVID positive patient, and the right side, the image is of a normal patient. So, by, uh, with our normal lies, I mean, we cannot differentiate between these two x rays, and we cannot confirmly tell that this is the post COVID positive patient's x ray, and this is this person is uh, normal. We cannot tell them. But we are using CNN algorithm and deep neural networking for this particular reason that the uh, image automatically, the model automatically will learn and then it will train itself. It can classify between images and then it will assign uh, the label that we are assigning. So the COVID dataset entire folder contains two, two folders one is for training and another folder is for validation or for testing. Inside the training folder, there, there, uh, there is two folder basically. And one, one folder is for all the COVID positive patients and another folder is for the normal patients. Similar case is for the testing or the validation part. There is two folders. There are two folders and first folder contains all the images of COVID positive patients and the second one is for normal patients. So we are training on these two twenty four images uh, that are shortlisted and that are of PA view that is uh, for the front view uh, PA view and that are uploaded here only these 24 to these 224 images will go through all, all these models of this epochs and uh, this will train the model after training there will be 60 different images and we will be uh, we will be present uh, we will be actually uh, we will be actually diagnosing the we will diagnose on these images these 60 images that uh, whether this patient is having covid covid uh, virus or not then uh, the, then we are how we are training this model ritika will discuss about the entire training part uh, so first of all uh, for training the cnn model we will be importing some libraries like numpy matplotlib and keras uh, we have divided our data set into two halves training data set and testing data set as already uh, discussed by Pradipto. There are 224 images in the training data set and 60 images in the testing data set. Now uh, talking about the training portion. So we have used the sequential model here. Uh, sequential model is the simplest model and uh, it works on layer upon it. It works on layer It works on each layer. So there is only uh, one input tensor and only one output tensor. So here we have uh, used four layer, uh, four CNN, uh, four convolutional 2D layers for better performance. In each of the layer, we have used uh, 
ReLU activation function except the last one. In the last one, we have used the sigmoid activation. So for training the model, we have used uh, image data generator function. And uh, uh, there uh, we have divided, uh, it is automatically divided into two classes. One is COVID, uh, which is denoted by zero and one is normal, which is denoted by one. So we have we will be we have used fit generator function to actually do the epochs. We have totally uh, we in total we have ten epochs and there are seven steps per epoch. And uh, right now the accuracy of our model using this has been uh, raised to uh, approximately ninety eight percent. Can you please present the screen? Can you please present the code? Wait. And so everyone. So basically, as I mentioned, we are using the sequential model here. So uh, sequential uh, model works on one layer at a time. It works on each layer. For this model, the necessary condition is that there should be only one input tensor and one output tensor. We are uh, adding multiple layers using the add method. Initially, we are adding conf 2D layer, we uh, and we are you uh, we are adding four such layers. Filters uh, parameter. This parameter specifies uh, what to say. The nodes, the number of nodes. This parameter. The output. Uh, yes, the output nodes actually. Uh, oh, activation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The nodes. Activation function which we are using is ReLU here, and the input shape we need to specify it for the first time because initially we should know uh, the model should know that what is the parameters that we are passing to it. So uh, input shape uh, is necessary for the first time, and then we can skip this. Um, max pool 2D layer. This is a pooling layer, and this layer is actually used for. Reducing the number uh, number of um, dimensions number of, yes, dimensions and number of cells. Suppose a vector is containing uh, seven uh, seven cross seven matrices there, and if we want to reduce the size to five cross five, five or five to four cross five, then we use this. Absolutely. Then uh, flattening a uh, method is used for converting a multi-dimensional array to a single-dimensional array. So as such, we are using, and in the last uh, portion, we are using a uh, uh, sigmoid activation function. And before actually training the model, we need to first compile it. So uh, first of all, uh, loss is a parameter, uh, which, and we are using your binary cross entropy. An optimizer, we are using addon, and matrix, we are using accuracy. So here in model summary, we find that uh, the number of parameters are increasing as we move down. And finally, using the fit genera uh, generator function, we will be training our uh, model. And uh, so uh, we are uh, now we are training it, it with thir 13 epochs and the steps per epoch is 10. And the accuracy of our model has reached to 93%. Uh, the last time when we executed it, it was 93%. It is, no, it, the, it is not 93%. Sorry, sir. Actually, uh, uh, we were experimenting it. You can see in the in the 10th epoch and in the 90th epoch, the maximum accuracy is 100%. So, uh, if we were continuously trying, and since we haven't used callback and early binding, that's why. Uh, the accuracy may differ from 100 to 90. So this is the validation accuracy, and the actual accuracy is you may, you may show the highest accuracy is 96.88 uh, percent uh, in the ninth epoch. So the highest accuracy is this. And since we haven't used callback, that's why it is so so it is showing 93 percent for some specific data set. That's why sir. So finally, for testing the model, we are uh, copying the path of an image, and uh, 
if using the predict function we are predicting whether a per, uh, whether the given image is of covid positive person or negative person so talking about the solution description we have used uh, deep learning and using the x-ray images we can predict whether the specified person is covid positive or not with a certain degree of accuracy talking about our future plans first of all we are uh, trying to increase the accuracy of our model it is currently 93 plus minus 5 percent but we are still trying to make it nearly 100 percent next we are planning to deploy it on android ios and web web platform concluding this so this project is intended to help people by providing a cost-efficient alternative procedure to detect COVID from an X-ray image with the help of deep learning and available data sets. So at present, our model has 93 plus minus 5% accuracy and which we are continuously trying to increase with the help of neural networks and other algorithms. These are the references from which we have uh, taken our data set. Kaggle and GitHub. Very good. 92% is very good. So that is all. Okay. Uh, that portion you we just omit that accuracy uh, yes. generally not in medical profession is more it is more sensitivity. More sensitivity is more stress than specificity. That means you can you can detect more COVID, but you are not missing any COVID cases or COVID cases. Projector, uh, the false negative confused in the confusion matrix, the false negative is a dangerous part. Yes, yeah, so that, right. is, that is that is that uh, is because accuracy doesn't matter more. Is it specificity should be high so that all COVID yes. patients should be diagnosed. You should not miss any COVID patient. One uncovered patient to be detected COVID patient. That is okay. okay that is okay. Very good yes, presentation. Uh, and 90% uh, is okay. Now, in the next, after the presentation, you should compare your this, uh, result with the leaderboard. That means our original Stanford machine online. Please. Uh, that is, you should target yes, the sir. world, not college. Or, so that is thing. And, and other than COVID, can you extend it to pneumonia or any lungs related? Or either binary COVID, non COVID, can we diagnose it uh, for few more classes like pneumonia, different types of heart, lungs from the same image? Can we do it or not? Uh, we can think of in a paper, okay? And uh, we should consider the leaderboard at the Stanford case. Okay. Very good. I think wish you all the best. Uh, thank you for the late night and presentation. Very good. Uh, Shobutro, I Thanks. think, sir, got the issue with the connection. I think it will be clear. Thank you. Take care. Anything else? So you yes, just sir, change sir. those and help. Thank you. Thank you. More, more you should, uh, Ritika, uh, you should more stress on your presentation on the actual coding and you should mention a little bit of confusion matrix and alpha learning, the certain pictures. And another thing, Ritika, you have mentioned. Uh, Artificial yes, neural network, contra, contra, CNA, RNA, yes, and yes, deep yes. network. I think uh, that will clutter our because we are not doing only artificial neural network, convolutional neural networks, RNA. That's enough. I think uh, that slide is informative, but not a, a value add to your. In fact, Pradipto, you take the slide from uh, Stanford, that original problem side. That you can, that screenshot you can share. That we are you are guiding by the original lung cancer test data and all this. That you can that we are we are targeting the online Stanford problems. Okay. 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 okay sir. Very good. Very good. Take care. Good night. Thank you all. Thank you, Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir